are on the world's largest cruise ship, the Wonder of the Seas, for our honeymoon. And we came hungry, ready for some meat. Meat. The first day of the cruise, I was pretty much blown away by the size of this massive ship. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is crazy. The ship holds nearly 10,000 people on it, with 2,300 of them being crew members. There's water slides, zip lines, ice skating, rock climbing, a carousel, laser tag, mini golf, honestly, an overwhelmingly long list of things to do. Yeah. This is like a hotel yeah. on a boat. Yeah. But we were hungry as soon as we got on that ship, so after walking around for a little bit, we headed straight for food. Around, and then all the way back, and there's like an Asian cuisine, we got <laughs> bar and coffee favorites, sandwich places, garden, desserts, uh, you know. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. You know, we got them burgers. And then I'll take like more of the fattier area. Uh, <laughs> it seems like this has a lot of grease on it. So I asked the gentleman for some fat. Oh my lordy, he gave me just straight fat. Like, what? This is heaven. He literally did. And Bryce is finding the salt. <laughs> and I am. <laughs> This is probably the best burger patty I've ever had. It is so fatty. I could live off these burgers. <laughs> I do live off of burgers. Once we finished lunch, we went to our room, put our things away, got settled, walked around the ship a bit more, and then raced down the tallest slide at sea. It's about 100 feet and drops you 10 stories. It lights up inside and plays music while you're sliding down. Now that was super cool. Then we headed to our room, showered, and got dressed for dinner. I had shrimp cocktail and escargot, AKA snails. I don't care what people say, snails are the bee's knees. Snails are so good. Oh yeah, yeah. I love snails. You'll see a theme throughout this video featuring tons of snails. I also had prime rib, and I did make sure to weigh myself before this trip started. And at the end of the video, I'll share the sad truth with what happened to my weight. After dinner, my husband just, I mean, let's be real, completely annihilated me at mini golf. Every night on cruise ships, they have different entertainment. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Your girl likes to go to bed early, so I took a nap and had my husband wake me up right before midnight so we could watch the set sail balloons fall at midnight. We are officially on vacation, everybody. This morning we got an announcement from the captain saying that we couldn't dock at Coco Bay because of wind, which I'm telling you, I don't feel a licking of wind on this huge ship. And I'm someone who gets motion sickness yet. I don't feel like we're even on a boat. So we are finding some breakfast right now. So I ended up with some butter. Hard boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, bacon. I'll probably have this like every single day. Grapefruit also. Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna lazy away. Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day. You can try to seduce me, make me wanna play. I don't know about that. And 
chicken carnitas. We love us. There's a whole list full of all the things we can do, but I want to do. I just woke up from a nap. Now we're going to go and play laser tag. <laughs> and I'm going to kick his butt, okay? This was by far my favorite thing we had the entire trip. It was beef tenderloin, and I can't even describe how magically tasty it was. We ended up ordering more and having a second round. Yeah. Oh, and rabbit food. What? Oh, yeah. Look at the good stuff right here. So we're just in it for the meat. For this dinner, we split lamb, chicken that comes with the chicken parm, and a New York strip steak. I usually just leave the sides on the side and don't eat them. I could ask the waiter to not bring them, but you know, I already nearly gave the man a heart attack when I told him not to bring the bread and butter to the table before the meal. So I'm on my honeymoon. It's more exhausting for me to list all the things not to bring. So instead, I just kind of move the sauces and move the sides to the side. So we found the secret fried egg spoon. Oh. Breakfast. I got five eggs, chicken sausages, crispy bacon, butter. What more does a girl need? Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. Out of like a million options we can choose from, we get burger patties. Okay. And chicken. And chicken. Uh, white meat? Yeah, a little, white bit white green, a little bit of white and dark. Yes. Yeah, I think a little bit Give it a moment. That was yeah. really okay. nice and juicy. Nice and juicy? Yeah. Tender, amazing. Yep, that one. one. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Burger patty. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'm getting some Greek salad because it just looks really refreshing and tasty. All right, so I got a burger and chicken and this is like fruit salad essentially because it's got tomatoes, olives, cucumbers, and it just looks really refreshing. Bryce the boys got fish and burgers and chicken. You know, we're burger connoisseurs and I'm telling you, this burger patty is the best burger patty I have ever had in my life. I don't even want to eat it because it is that weird. I don't want to eat my burger because it tastes so good. I'm just trying to save it. I want to put it in my purse. I don't know what they did to these burgers, but they put like crack in them because they're so good. Round two. We split more burgers and chicken because it was just so darn tasty. That lunch was a 10 out of 10. That was the, the, best, the best lunch ever. We could do that over and over again every day. Seriously, after that last burger, we were like, we're still gonna get another burger patty. Something about the way you move makes me wanna feel your glow. Something about the way you dress, baby, got me feeling like a mess. Flippin' love snails. Yeah, I love snails. I don't even care. They taste like butter. Yeah, yeah, they're amazing. For dinner, we split beef tenderloin, salmon, and lamb. And then our waiter brought us scallops, oysters, and clams, and a glass of champagne to celebrate for our honeymoon. Underneath my lips 
morning for breakfast I've got eggs, bacon, salmon, a little bit of lemon for that salmon and we're in St. Thomas. Beautiful St. Thomas and handsome husband. My love has come along. So you guys today we're at St. Thomas. Being cute. Hanging in the water. It's pretty warm. At last my love. My lonely days are over. And now you made it, but I already played this. Not interested. Open your eyes, let's get it done. Take my hand, just follow me. Shadow me up. Burger patties. This is a meatloaf with an egg in it. So I figured I would try it, but I'm mainly just hungry for burger patties. The meatloaf was no good. So I got another burger patty. After lunch, we went to another beach, and it was this time of day where I would usually drown myself in element electrolytes because it was so dang hot outside. One of the days, it was 108 degrees Fahrenheit, and when we sweat, we lose more electrolytes and can become dehydrated, which was me on the first day of the trip. I was a total ding dong and forgot that because I was sweating so much more, I needed to increase my electrolytes, which explains why I had a headache, felt dehydrated, and was so exhausted that I needed to take a nap on that first day. I just woke up from a nap. For my friends who like to drink sodas, cocktails, slushies, or even pop, these electrolytes are a way better option. Not only are they more affordable, but they're also healthier by providing the body with more sodium, magnesium, and potassium. They're also super delicious and refreshing. Element will send you a free sample pack so you can test them for yourself. The sample pack comes with eight individual packages of different flavors so you can figure out which one is your favorite. You can claim this free sample pack with any order by going to the link in the description or by going to the URL drinkelement.com slash lilycane. After a long day at the beach, we watched the sunset and got ready for dinner. If you've never done a cruise before, how it works is then at night on the dinner menu, you can order as many appetizers and entrees and desserts as you'd like. So like tonight, for example, we're getting each two starters and two entrees because we need a lot of meat. And you best believe I'm getting snails again. Snails are actually incredibly high in copper. They basically sit in these little pockets of butter. It's amazing. Then I had both carne asada and salmon. Eggs and bacon and some breakfast ham out at St. Martin. Here's what I like. Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes Laughing with my friends under the sky Following our hearts, so then we take a ride Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly Fly away That's the only way to get that high, high. I'm hungry, let's eat out of all of our options, tell me how we keep going for burger patties. Pretty. Oh. <laughs> we 
just took the slide down so that way we can go to dinner. We're like, hey, we're at the top, might as well get down to the bottom. Are we crazy or are we fun? For dinner, I had a New York strip steak and a pork chop. I'll go ahead and move, move these things out of the way. It's literally cooked perfectly. <laughs> We were still hungry, so for dessert, we split a bowl of pineapple. half strawberries so we took them eggs and bacon for breakfast yet again we do eat the same thing for breakfast like every day but frankly I feel like everybody else is eating the same thing for breakfast every day too bread twisted bread bread with squares bread with frosting seasoned bread bread with oatmeal English bread bread with whole bread with bread there's been a whole bread saga going on this trip where our waiter at night will try to bring us bread and on the first night we told him, oh, it's okay, you don't have to bring the bread. And he was like, what? Why not? I didn't think he was going to ask why not. So I just said, to save room for other food. But then later, the assistant waiter came by and was like, hey, I heard you guys don't want bread, but I do have gluten-free bread. Can I bring you gluten-free bread? And then as the week has continued, they've tried to bring us bread, but every like plate of food they bring us like escargot or different meals have bread with it on top of it. I have been blown away by how much bread is consumed on this ship. Top off. These are some pervy slides. Do you ever just wake up and you're like, craving a burger today? Feels like one of them burger days, you know? Turkey breast and oh, snap. Tofu burgers minus the tofu. And I got another burger. Lobster tails and steak with the sides on the side. Can anybody feel the same? So we keep running into couples who have been together, married for many years, whether that's 27 years, 39 years, 69 years of marriage. We've been asking the different couples, what's their tip for a long marriage? And they've said, the gentlemen have said, all of them in a row, Yes, dear. Happy wife, happy life. However, in this relationship, I say yes, dear. And I say, happy Bryce, happy life. What the heck is this? And Bryce says, it's because the times have changed. That's the old ways. Welcome. The old ways. No, <laughs> we have better ways. <laughs> Another day to eat eggs and bacon. He eats his bacon like spaghetti. Oh. <laughs> I 
I have been royally impressed with the amount of people who start drinking at 9 a.m. Oh my goodness, if I did that, I'd be asleep by lunchtime. These people are machines. Can I all take yeah, these? Yeah, you can take anything. Perfect, thank you. Yeah. Burger, chicken, roast beef, the butter. We ended up doing a behind the scenes kitchen tour and learned that they make 40,000 eggs a day. Not a week, 40,000 eggs a day. 600 pounds of bacon per day, 10,000 steaks a day. The lobster tail night, they made 6,000 lobster tails. And in general, they prepare 28,000 meals per day. For dinner, we each got a lamb shank, which was so tasty, and split a steak. And these guys, I'm not sure where they were getting these cows from because all of their beef products and all the beef that we had on this trip was so tasty. Each time I go on vacation, even though I'm eating enough food, because I am not working out while on vacation, I will lose muscle. And it takes me several months to put on muscle. You can't just work out one day and then turn into the Hulk, but I can lose all of that muscle in just a week or two of not working out. Before this trip started, I was 116.2 pounds. Once we came back from the trip, I was 112.6 pounds which this has been the story of my life for the last couple of years. I will work out hard in the gym for months, then go on vacation and poof, I'm back to square one. Though it's okay. I love traveling, seeing new things and making memories. Plus it's important to take breaks and relax. Besides the gym will always be there when we come home. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.